Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's video, I wanted to talk about our sponsor, TC's Rockets. TC's Rockets started in 2015 and has become the largest game store in San Diego. They host daily Magic the Gathering events along with Pokemon and Warhammer. If you can't make it to their events, you can always tune in via Twitch on Tuesdays and Fridays for some legacy and modern matches. TC's Rockets goes even further by hosting the Rocket Series. It's a yearly circuit of events that rotates through different formats until a champion is chosen. They had over 400 unique players compete in their first season. All of the Rocket Series events are live streamed at twitch.tv slash TC's Rockets. Tune in and cheer on your favorite players. TC's Rockets does more than just gaming. They also have the largest selection of comics and collectibles in San Diego, and maybe they'll even be at a comic convention near you. Thank you to TC's Rockets, the sponsor of today's video. Playing with Power members Noah and Drake are back against some of our Mox Pearls. Let's see what they brought and how they will do tonight. So let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Drake, piloting Najila the Blade Blossom. This deck seeks to gain infinite combats through its commander or execute Underworld Breach combos. Drake's opening hand contains a Swan Song, Vampiric Tutor, Deadly Rollick, Soul Ring, Ancient Tomb, Savannah, and a Marsh Flats. Next, we have Charles, piloting Owl the Dawn Sky. This deck seeks to slow down the board with light stacks before executing a combo through its commander to win the game. Charles' opening hand contains a Mana Vault, Academy Rector, Gemstone Caverns, Portable Hole, Enlightened Tutor, Mirage Mirror, and a Snow-Covered Plains. After that, we have Noah, piloting Grawlnock the Omnivore. This deck uses its commander to mill its entire library and win through a Thassa's Oracle combo. Noah's opening hand contains a Yavimaya Coast, Tarnished Citadel, Soul Ring, Boreal Druid, Finehorn Elves, Green Sun Zenith, and an Eldritch Evolution. Finally, we have Nick, piloting Jetmir, Nexus of Rebels. This deck locks down the board through heavy stacks and wins the game through attrition. Nick's opening hand contains a Bloom Tender, Arbor Elf, Sacred Foundry, Bountiful Promenade, Deafening Silence, Rest in Peace, and a Ranger Captain of Eos. Without further ado, let's kick off this Big Bad Bombastic Backlash. Drake wins the game of Pickup Sticks and gets to start us off. Drake draws a card for turn and plays a Marsh Flats. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He cracks his Lotus to help cast his commander, Najila the Blade Blossom. He cracks his Marsh Flats, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts a Soul Ring and passes the turn. Charles draws and plays a Snow-Covered Plains. He casts Portable Hole. It enters and exiles Drake's Soul Ring. Drake mumbles something about turn order, and Charles passes the turn. Noah draws and plays the Yavimaya Coast. He taps it to help cast Finehorn Elves. Noah ends his turn. Nick draws and plays a Bountiful Promenade. He casts Deafening Silence. The table sinks a bit, and Nick gives the turn to Drake. Drake draws and moves to combat. He attacks Nick with Najila. Najila triggers and creates a 1-1 warrior tapped in attacking Nick. Nick takes it, and in his second main phase, Drake plays an Ancient Tomb. He taps it to help cast Talisman of Curiosity. Drake ends his turn. Charles draws and plays the Snow-Covered Plains. He casts a Mana Vault. He casts an Academy Rector. The table takes notice, and Charles passes. Noah draws and plays a Tarnished Citadel. He casts Green Sun Zenith, where X equals 2. He fetches up a Hermit Druid onto the battlefield and shuffles Green Suns back into his library. Noah passes. At the end of Noah's turn, Drake casts Vampiric Tutor. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. The turn moves to Nick. Nick draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Taiga onto the battlefield. He casts an Allosaur Shepherd. He casts an Arbor Elf. Nick ends his turn. At the end of Nick's turn, Drake casts Deadly Relic for its alternate cost, exiling Noah's Hermit Druid. Drake draws and plays a Savannah. He taps his Talisman to help cast Derevi, Imperial Tactician. Everyone knows this spells game over, but Derevi enters and untaps his Underground Sea. Drake then tells the table he's actually a man of short, so they don't need to worry. The table doesn't believe him, and Drake moves to combat. He attacks Noah with Najila and a warrior. Najila triggers, and Drake creates two warriors tapped in attacking Nick. Both take it, and Derevi triggers four times, untapping his talisman in Savannah and tapping down Nick's Shepherd and Arbor Elf. Finished up, Drake gives the turn to Charles. During his draw step, Charles takes a damage from his Mana Vault. He plays an Urza Saga, getting its first counter. He casts a Mirage Mirror. Charles passes the turn. Noah draws and casts a Soul Ring. He taps his Yavimaya Coast to help cast Gilded Drake. It resolves and exchanges control of Drake's Najila. He casts Boreal Druid and passes the turn. Nick draws and plays a Sacred Foundry into play untapped, paying two life. He casts Stony Silence. He casts Bloom Tender. Nick ends his turn. Drake draws and plays a Badlands. He moves to combat and attacks Noah with Gilded Drake and Derevi. Noah takes it, Derevi triggers, untapping both creatures. With nothing else, Drake passes to Charles. During his draw step, Charles takes the damage from his Mana Vault. In his main phase, Urza Saga gets another counter. He plays an Ancient Den for turn. He casts Lion's Eye Diamond. Charles passes. Noah draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He moves to combat and attacks Nick with Najila. Najila triggers, creating a 1-1 warrior, tapped in attacking Nick. 
Nick takes it, and in his second main phase, Noah cracks his Scalding Tarn, pays a life, and fetches up a tropical island onto the battlefield. He casts his commander, Grawlnock the Omnivore. Noah passes the turn. Nick draws and plays a Marsh Flats. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Savannah onto the battlefield. He casts Ranger Captain of Eos. It enters, and he fetches up a Sylvan Safekeeper into his hand. He casts Rest in Peace. It resolves and exiles all graveyards. He casts Sylvan Safekeeper. Finished up, Nick passes. Drake draws and moves the combat. He attacks Noah with Derevi and Gilded Drake. Noah takes it, and Derevi triggers. He untaps Savannah twice, floating a mana. He uses that mana to cast Eladomri's Call. He fetches up a Thassa's Oracle into his hand. Drake passes. At the end of Drake's turn, Charles activates Urza's Saga, creating a construct. During his draw step, Charles takes the damage from his mana vault. In his main phase, Urza's Saga triggers. He floats a mana and sacrifices it, fetching up a Pithing Needle onto the battlefield. It enters, and Charles names Najila. He casts Grasp of Fate. It enters and exiles Stony Silence, Talisman of Curiosity, and Grawlnock. He moves to combat and attacks Drake with his construct. Drake takes seven, and Charles ends his turn. Noah draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He moves to combat, attacking Charles with Najila and Drake with a Warrior. Najila triggers, and Noah creates two Warriors tapped in attacking Drake. They both take it, and in his second main phase, Noah casts Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing Finehorn Elves as an additional cost. He fetches up a Spellseeker onto the battlefield. Spellseeker enters, and Noah fetches up a Cyclonic Rift into his hand. Finished up, Noah gives the turn to Nick. Nick draws and casts his commander, Jetmir, Nexus of Rebels. He casts Professional Facebreaker. He moves to combat and attacks Charles with Ranger Captain. Charles takes it and Facebreaker triggers. Nick creates a treasure and then passes the turn to Drake. Drake draws and moves to combat. He attacks Nick with Gilded Drake and Derevi. Nick takes it and Derevi triggers, untapping Drake's creatures. Unfortunately locked out of doing much else, Drake passes the turn. During his draw step, Charles takes the damage from his mana vault. In his main phase, he casts On Thin Ice. It enters and exiles Derevi. He moves to combat and attacks Nick with his construct. Nick takes seven and Charles ships the turn to Noah. Noah draws and moves to combat. He attacks Charles with Najila. Najila triggers, creating a warrior tapped in attacking Nick. Nick blocks the warrior and then Charles takes the hit. In his second main phase, Noah taps his Yavamaya coast to recast his commander, Grawlnock. Noah ends his turn. Nick draws and plays a command tower. He activates Facebreaker, sacrificing a treasure, exiling Fae Barrel Eldor off of the top of his library. He moves to combat, attacking Charles with Facebreaker and Drake with everything else. In response, Charles activates Mirage Mirror, having it become a copy of his construct. Then Drake blocks Ranger Captain with Gilded Drake and blocks Shepard, Arbor Elf, and Bloom Tender with his warriors. Charles blocks Facebreaker with Academy Rector and his construct. Before damage, Nick activates Allosaurus Shepard, pumping all of his elves. Then damage happens, multiple creatures die, including Ranger Captain and Academy Rector. Rector does not trigger due to rest in peace on the battlefield. Then Drake dies, Facebreaker triggers, and Nick creates a treasure. In his second main phase, he casts Fae Burrow Elder. Finished up, Nick ends his turn. During his draw step, Charles takes a damage from his mana vault. In his main phase, he casts Cut a Deal. He holds priority and sacrifices his LED, discards his hand, and adds three white. Then his opponents draw a card, and then Charles draws two. He casts Idle Honor Rhetoric. He moves to combat and attacks Nick with his construct. Nick takes six, and Charles gives the turn to Noah. Noah draws and casts a Mox Opal. He passes. Nick draws and plays a Yavamaya Cradle of Growth. He ends his turn. During his draw step, Charles takes a damage from his mana vault. He moves to combat and attacks Noah with his construct. Noah blocks with a warrior. In his second main phase, Charles activates Mirage Mirror, making it a copy of Mana Vault. He casts his commander, Al, the Dawn Sky. Charles passes to Noah. Noah draws, takes no actions, and passes. At the end of Noah's turn, Nick flashes in an Avon Mind Sensor. Nick draws and casts Sarath, the Viper's Fang. He moves to combat and attacks Charles with everything. Charles blocks Jetmir with Al and Allosaur Shepard with Eidolon. Before damage, Nick activates Allosaur Shepard, pumping his elves. Jetmir dies, and Charles dies. When Charles dies, his grasp of fate leaves the battlefield and Nick's stony silence re-enters. Finished up, Nick gives the turn to Noah. Noah draws and casts Laboratory Maniac. Seeing the writing on the wall, Noah gives the turn back to Nick. Nick draws and casts the Cotley Honor Guard. He recasts his commander, Jetmir. He moves to combat and attacks Noah with everything. Noah takes it all, dies, and Nick wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match. Congrats to Nick on his win. He did a great job of forcing everyone to play his game tonight. He locked down the board and set himself up as the leader. He forced everyone to use combat to progress the game, which his deck did better than the others. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time and we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.